They're trying to say that we don't need a, a good revenue split. Um, we'll just give you guys more ads. And, and of course, nobody likes ads. We hate ads. And I don't even want to fucking play ads on my stream. I, would, I, would, I wouldn't play ads if, if I could. I would pay Twitch to not pay, play ads on my stream. If I could turn off ads completely, I would. But unfortunately, we're not able to. So I pretty much tweeted that. And look, it's on the fucking article. All right, so I said, and this is, this is just facts. Unless you're a Twitch streamer averaging thousands of viewers, the ads incentive program is not a viable source of income, LOL, because it's funny that they're trying to do that. It's, it's legit like 80 to 100 bucks for a 190-hour stream. You guys want to see mine? Chat, I'll show you right now, bro. I'm a partnered streamer with this platform. Look, and I don't want, the, I don't want this to come about complainy, bro. I really don't. I don't want this to come about complainy at all. I'm not a complainy person, but I will voice concerns with when they're trying to tell us something that's not true, bro. So, so what they were saying in, this, what, in their article that they put out in their blog post, one example pointed to by Minton was the ad incentive program. This provides streamers with a pre-agreed payment provided they stream a certain number of hours and run a specific amount of ads. The, and then this is the quote from him. The acceptance and engagement on the ad incentive program far exceeded our expectations. So streamers are clearly seeing the value in running ads now. We have no choice to run ads. We have to run ads. And we're all doing their ad incentive program so we could turn off pre-rolls. So when people come in, they're not immediately greeted by an ad. So when a new face comes in like Rated or Miss Butters here, they're not immediately hit with an ad. And that just doesn't spoil their experience, and hopefully they'll come and, st and stick around a little bit longer, maybe get to know me in the community. Otherwise, they're just going to bounce. So, bro, this is my month of April for three minutes of ads per hour, per hour, 20 to $81 estimate. And I have to stream 182 hours to get that. And they don't even... What are they talking about? This is... All right, say they give me the full $81, which is... Look, whatever, like... It's 45 cents an hour. That's 45 cents an hour. <laughs> I mean, to try and paint this program, like this is their answer to the revenue split issue, is bogus. And now you have Kick, which is doing 95.5, and you have YouTube doing 70.30, and Twitch is saying steadfast and saying, we're just sticking with 50-50. Fine. But don't, don't, bro, I'd rather you say we're just sticking with 50-50. Don't fucking lie. Okay, and say that this is a viable alter alternative, running ads. Now, if you got thousands of viewers, bro, if you got two, three, four thousand average viewers on Twitch and you run ads, you're making tens of thousands of dollars a month on ads alone and you don't even care about subs. So there are, there is a contingency of streamers that are making a ton of money through ads. And it is more than enough to supplement the 50-50 split, of course. But that's the 0.0, not the 1%, not the 0.1% of streamers. It's the 0.01% of streamers that see those types of numbers. So miss me with this. Don't try and paint this like it's a viable solution to having a, a bogus split in 2023. 50-50 is nonsense. Even OnlyFans has a better split. Facebook has a better split. YouTube, obviously. And now Kick's applying the pressure at 95.5. It is what it is, bro. And Crow is here as well. So, W, I'm, look, I'm not even streaming on Kick. I know Crow's over there. I haven't done a single Kick stream. But I'm glad there's a platform applying the pressure to Twitch. And I hope they continue to feel that pressure. And maybe we will start streaming over there more. Because they're so... Bro, when I reach it like this, they are so... They're so out of touch. I am very grateful for this platform and for um, moving over here when we did uh, from Facebook. Because you guys see what's going on with Facebook now? It's a whole bigger mess than what ha is going on with Twitch. I'm grateful. And I'm, I'm, I'm proud to be here and, and be a partner on this platform. Um, but I'm a partner. And I'm going to use my voice to hopefully maybe inspire change. And, and you know, they're, they're hearing us at, at, at least. And that's something. You know, it doesn't mean things are going to change, but that's something. Because I know there's creators on this platform smaller than me that are struggling and, and want to continue to grind. And shit, if something comes of it, then it does. And that would be amazing. But I'm, I'm a partner. And, and part of that, I think, is a responsibility to use my voice in ways that I think could help make the platform better. I'm a partner. It's supposed to be both ways, you know? That doesn't mean I just blindly just bow down the Twitch and our purple overlords. No. Like, I'm going to criticize. And hopefully that doesn't fall on deaf ears and... and we made the news, so that's fucking cool. <laughs> so yeah, W. Pretty cool moment. Um, but yeah, that's uh that's my rant about it.